In today's special podcast episode, I interview Tyrone Magnus, actor, model, and voiceover talent who has over 1 million subscribers on YouTube about how he beat his tinnitus, going from a level 8 out of 10 volume all the way down to a 1 out of 10 volume. You're going to learn some things with this video. I want you to take notes. This guy is someone who released a video on YouTube with over 100,000 views about his story. Let's learn what worked for him and get to meet Tyrone. Here we go. Tyrone, welcome to the Tribal Health Podcast. Tell us about your story with tinnitus and your message for the tinnitus community. Well, thank you for having me. And I guess I'll say my message first is there is hope. So take a listen to what I got to say and, you know, check the channel out. And uh, I'm sure you'll find something that at least help minimize it for you. So the way I developed it, I was going through an extremely stressful time. And unbeknownst to me, my neck was getting really tight and I realized how tight it was getting. I knew other parts were getting tight, you know, like my arms and legs and back. And um, one day when I woke up, I, I remember I went to stretch like this and all of a sudden I heard a click, you know, and then all of a sudden a ringing started in the right ear. And, you know, you think, you know, sometimes it's like your ears draining or whatever. Sometimes, you know, we have ringing in our ears and it goes away in a few seconds, but it didn't. And uh, this was on a Friday. And I remember uh, I did not think to go to the chiropractor. And my chiropractor had told me before when he first started treating me, he was like, yeah, we have, you know, people that come in with tinnitus. And I forgot what that's called. There's a problem with the jaw. The problems with the joint called temporomandibular joint dysfunction or TMJ. Yes. Okay. TMJ. So um, I had heard of people that have TMJ sometimes get tinnitus. So I suffered Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it was maddening. I mean, I almost threw up, but I knew about a technique called EFT. Just heard it called tapping or whatever. And it really works. I mean, I use it every day anyway, just to deal with being a YouTuber and a busy person that, you know, has so many things to do to stay calm keep from being stressed, you know, so that helped get rid of the nausea, the frustration of it, the insanity of it. And it helped me sleep. It helped relax me and it helped diminish, I would say from an eight to maybe a six or a five at times. Once I got into the chiropractor, they fixed me and it dropped it. I would say all the way from an eight to a one. Let's check in on that for a moment here. So you have sudden loud tinnitus in one year and that weekend is insane probably very hard to sleep probably high anxiety probably catastrophic thoughts of is this my life what the is happening here yeah. and then you realize okay when i calm my psychology a bit when i calm the mind when i calm the body the level goes down okay that's a good sign that shows us it's not set in stone it's not something permanent here our listeners here on on our channel can definitely relate with this feeling of stress, anxiety with sudden onset of tinnitus. So how did you approach taking action on that, right? You, you said that you found a, a professional who was able to work on your neck. Now, first question here is how did you learn about your options of what to do? Because I know making content, making videos, being an audiologist, there's many subtypes of tinnitus, there's different causes. Some of the first mm -hmm. things we want to do is get a hearing test, rule out something with the ears, have a medical evaluation. But there's also this subgroup of tinnitus, which is somatic or somatosensory. And you certainly would fall into that with your, your history, that sudden onset in one ear, just boom, out of nowhere, super loud. Yeah. And then getting the treatment from a chiropractor did help. So tell us about those initial days and weeks of how did you gather information and what did you do? Okay. And by the way, yeah, it was mainly the right ear, but it did spread to the to the left also. Within, I, I don't know how long it took, but it was before Friday was over. It was in both ears, you know. So after that, you know, I felt pretty good. And, you know, it was around a one, but I could still hear it. And they told me it would go away over the next few days. And part of me thinks that if I hadn't waited until Monday, maybe it would have gone away in a few hours or whatever, a few days, but it didn't. So it stayed around a one, but it kept fluctuating probably between a one and a three. And I started to see a acupuncturist and that worked really well. And one day I decided to see in the same building it was a Reiki master. And I know a lot of people say it's hooey, but <laughs> this was not, uh, I forgot what they call it, where you just think something's going to work. Placebo. It works. Placebo. Yes, yes. So when she worked on me, I was just hoping <laughs> it would work. I'm just like, hey, I'll, I'll try anything. 
And I didn't notice it until I left the office because it was around the one anyway. So, you know, air conditioners, air flowing, whatever. I couldn't hear it. And I got to my car and I closed the door to start the car. It was normal hearing, 100% normal. And I went up and I told her and she just had this big smile on her face. And she was like, you know, my sister's a doctor and she has it. And she swears this doesn't work. I can't wait to tell her. <laughs> so, but then it started to come back slightly like the next day, you know, and so on. So, and it kind of came back to a one over the next few days. And I kept having her work on me. And it was so weird because from, from then on, she could still reduce it, but it would never go to a zero. So I was flip-flopping between her and the uh, acupuncturist and seeing the chiropractor, and it still never will go to zero. And one day I was in there and he told me while feeling around in there, he said, these muscles are really tight. He was like, my hunch is, is if you can get rid of the muscle tension here, it'll probably take pressure off the nerves that are running to your ears that are causing this problem. So that's when I started doing different neck stretches, anything I could think of. You know, I even saw a couple of doctors talking about the neck stretches I was doing. They were saying, no, don't do this. You could get an impingement. I don't know. I've been doing them for a few years now. I still haven't had a problem. Not to say they're lying. I'm just saying, you know, maybe some people are more at risk than other to impingement. And I, I incorporated their stretch that they said in the video to do it instead. And I remember I was, I didn't do their stretches, but I was doing this, this stretch and I was rubbing the back of my head and it went from i would say a one to maybe a point one or a point two i you know i just had to, i had, have to go into a closet to try to hear it but still it, it, i live today at anywhere from a like a i live at point five that's what it is you know and maybe when i wake up in the morning it's a one and then during the day it goes back so right now I'm seeing a uh, holistic doctor and this doctor was telling me, he said, look, you're in pretty good shape and health, but your liver can cause a ton of problems. And I think it's causing the muscle tension that you're having. Now I noticed whenever I did any water fasting or juice fasting, muscle tension in my body would go away day after day after day after day. So I'm actually on a juice fast right now and working with him, I want to totally eradicate all of the muscle tension that I have in my body. Mm -hmm. So hopefully now I can get it to a zero. Yeah, I have tinnitus myself. It hovers between a one or a two. And I know that it gets louder when I'm stressed. I, it got much louder when I had COVID. And it shows us that this is not a set in stone condition for most people that this is fluctuating based on whatever else is happening in our body, in our nervous system in our mind with stress, anxiety, etc. You've released some popular videos on your channel, How I Beat Tinnitus, an update on that, How You Beat Tinnitus, as well as Yes, You Can Cure Tinnitus. What I've learned that's so important here is to stress the positivity and the hope. There are certainly different causes of tinnitus. There are different treatments, and some are more effective than others, depending on what cause you have. Your case gives us a lot of hope that when we take a holistic, comprehensive approach, not just the ears, not just the psychology, but also the neck, the body, and some alternative medicine approaches as well. When we put all this together, it can actually reduce tinnitus. And for the thousands of people who will watch this video, what's your message to them about that, that optimism and that hope for the future? Don't give up. Just because you tried one thing doesn't mean the next thing won't work. You know, you've heard these stories about people with cancer and they they get you know six seven eight different they see six, six or seven different doctors and the eighth one is the one that say, hey you know what there is this one thing i heard about you might want to try and it ends up working so you, you know you just never know you know 100 percent. and in your specific case do you think about tinnitus much these days or is it something in the background just a, a memory of a really challenging time for you yeah it's it's it's, it's in the background Every once in a while, sometimes if I'm sitting in a quiet room, you know, thinking or reading or whatever, sometimes it'll, I'll hear it, you know, but it's kind of a fleeting moment in, in life now. You yeah. know, I live with it. I'm very happy and uh, I'm very optimistic it'll be a zero. Yeah. Later. yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And I'm sure you had a lot of outreach, people who asking you questions, uh, sending you messages that probably yeah. much more than you could ever read. 
about tinnitus. How did that go for you? Was that overwhelming? Did you did you feel I actually don't know the answer to many of these questions? Because what most people yeah. don't realize is tinnitus is a very complicated medical condition. There's a lot of mm, it depends or mm, well, if this condition yeah. is affecting you, then that treatment will work. Yeah, I mean it's 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 overwhelming. You know, I have a lot of subscribers and when I did the video, I found out just how many people are suffering from it. And it's like, not no pun intended, but silent suffering. It's like, they don't even really talk to people about it. And then once I make the video, oh my God, I didn't know I'm going to try this. I've been dealing with this since I was a kid in high school. And I'm like, wow, you know, it's sad to see how many people are dealing with it. And then they write me and they're saying, well, hey, I tried what you said. It didn't work. And you know, I can see that they're desperate because I clearly say in the video, your cause could be something else. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just telling you what worked for me. You know, um, I've heard it can be viral. You know, um, even even the, the doctor I'm seeing now, he told me he thinks that he says that I have a viral issue. and We're working on that right now. But he said that the viral issues I have could have also combined with the stress and the liver problems to pull that subluxation. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's sad, but you know, at the end of the day, don't stop. That is the message today. Don't stop. Don't, don't end your life. Don't self delete. Don't do any of that stuff. Yeah. You know, we're on the, we're on the same page there. And our YouTube channel is a center for high quality information, scientific information about tinnitus. The good thing here is there are different treatment approaches. There is no cure that works for majority of individuals with this condition yet we have many tools and many ways to manage it and in your case tyrone actually reduce it from eight or nine down to a, a one so very happy to feature your success story and i'm grateful that you shared your time not only for our channel but for anyone who is looking for help with tinnitus we need more support and what you're doing here is an example of volunteering your time to help others so if you watched this video, got some help, let us know in the comments. This helped. Give it a thumbs up. Tyrone, thanks for being here. Yeah, you're welcome. Take care. Thank you for watching today's video with Treble Health. Check out our next video by clicking the button on this screen or another recommended video. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much. See you on the next video.